By default, lethal company's lobby size is limited to 4 players. But for crews of 5 or more, fear not. The bigger lobby mod allows you to set custom lobby sizes when hosting a game. There are two things you will need to download. A dependency, which is an API to support the mod, and the mod itself. Both are linked in the description. For the dependency, you will be taken to a GitHub page. Once there, scroll down until you find the Assets section, and download whichever one applies to your machine. X64 is most likely the one you need. If you really aren't sure, open your Windows settings and click System, and About at the bottom. This page shows you a bunch of information, but all we're looking for is the system type. Back on the GitHub page, download the version that matches. While that's downloading, go to the second link, the bigger lobby mod. You can see the version history, and by default, we're going to want the newest one. On this page, big download button, nice and easy. This should then download in the background, though you can click one of the links if you need. You should now have both zip files downloaded. Now we get to the question of what to actually do with those zip files. It's simple. Go to Steam, find Lethal Company, right click, manage, browse local files. You can also go into the properties, installed files, and browse from here. In both cases, if you're familiar at all with modding Steam games, you'll be taken to a familiar directory. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then the game name, Lethal Company. Now we get to the Elite Hacker Man step, where we have to do drag and drop. I've opened the zip files next to the installation directory, select everything, and drag it into the main Lethal Company folder. If the option to replace files comes up, click replace files in destination. Though I've already done a little bit of light modding, and this may not even come up for you. Up next, the bigger lobby mod itself. Let's drag this in, and there we go. Opening this up, in plugins, we can see both are installed. So how do we know if it worked? We can double click lethal company from within this directory. And once the game launches, we'll see it says mod down in the bottom left. To verify, we can also see the max players option has appeared when hosting a lobby. And just for proof, let's launch through Steam as well. Again, mod in the bottom left. And the max players when hosting. Keep in mind, other players connecting to your lobby will also need these modded files in order to avoid some potentially game-breaking bugs. But, as this tutorial demonstrated, it's a very straightforward installation process. Also keep in mind that while you can type in any number for the max players, the larger the lobby size, the more likely it is that things will start to break. Since we've now modified the game files, whenever we launch, we're launching into a modded version. But what if, for whatever reason, we want to launch back into vanilla? Back in the Lethal Company installation directory, create a new folder. Strictly speaking, the name doesn't matter, but call it something sensible so you can work out what's inside. Disabled Mods works for me. Select the BepinX folder, cut, and paste it inside this Disabled Mods folder. You keep all of the files, but they won't be read when launching the game. Once the game starts up, we can verify this by checking the bottom left. Mods is not shown. When joining a crew, all of the available lobbies will be limited to 4. And when hosting a game, the option to set a custom lobby size isn't shown either. With your new Elite Hackerman skills, you can move the modded files in and out of the disabled folder to easily toggle launching into a vanilla or modded game. Though disclaimer, I've only tested this with the bigger lobby mod, and other mods may or may not work as smoothly.